Finishing touch is getting the side of the case back on here. Shouldn't be too difficult. Just line it up on this side and then push down on the other side. Now that the inside of the computer is taken care of, we need to take care of the outside of the computer, which means plugging in all of the various cords and cables that we need to actually get this thing to work. So we're going to start with the power cable, which goes up here into the power supply. Then the mouse connector goes right over here. The keyboard connector, which is purple as opposed to the lovely green of the mouse, goes in right next door followed by the monitor, which goes into the DVI port down here on the video card. We will just twist that in lightly. And lastly, the Ethernet cable plugs in right here. If you have a USB keyboard and mouse, they're going to plug into one of these many ports right here. This is the old-fashioned uh, VGA video port here, and this is where your speakers will go if you have them. Since we don't, we're going to ignore them and turn this thing on and see how it works. So this is our Windows Home Premium disk that we're going to use to install the operating system on our computer. We need to have it in there when the computer boots up so that it will boot directly to the CD. We have successfully arrived at the Windows Vista Home Premium install screen, and it's time to get Windows on this computer so we can start using it. That, unfortunately, is beyond the scope of this particular video, but we hope you've enjoyed this guide on how to build your own computer. For Computer Shopper, I'm Matthew Murray, and I have to get to work. See you later.